Hello, I'm Andrew Belt, and this is the SynthTech Wave Editor demo. The software is for the Synthesis Technology E352 and the E370, and it will be available around the time the E352 releases in mid-August. I think August 15th is the date to look out for. So, let's get started. So to preview our waveform, we just click playing and set the volume and the frequency. Now we can use our pencil tool on the waveform editor to just click and drag and draw our own waveforms. So uh, there are a few tools to help us, like this brush tool, which kind of filters for us as we're drawing, or the line tool if we just want to quickly make a saw wave. Or we can use these built-in presets to either clear or initialize with a, a digital uh, waveform. Uh, let's use our sawtooth earlier. That's a quick way to get that. We've got a chirp and then some Morley wavelets, which you can only really hear at low frequencies. Uh, there are a few analog ones like this saw wave, the uh, through zero FM. Here's here's one which is the uh, modulator is five times the frequency of the carrier, so that's what this sounds like. And these are just useful starting points for. Further editing. Okay, let's just create a base waveform so that we can add effects to it later. So I'm just going to start by playing around with the waveform editor and then adding more harmonics with the harmonic editor and then going back and forth until I get something very arbitrary and unique. I think that should be good enough for now. Maybe it's clipping a little bit. Let's remove some of this. Okay, that's great. So here's our base waveform. It's never been heard before. It's just mine. Okay. We can apply some pre-gain to it, which does exactly as you'd expect. We can use that to amplify the rest of the effects. We can take a harmonic shifter, and as we increase this, it cycles the phases of all the harmonics around until they return back to the original position. It's kind of an interesting effect to watch, but it preserves the magnitude of the harmonics, so it shouldn't sound any different. But as we apply more effects later on, then this will kind of serve as a way to change what these listen to, to uh, add some weird morphing effects, as you'll hear later. So a comb filter does what you'd expect, sort of like a guitar uh, comb filter effect. Um, the level is a bit quiet, so I can add some pre-gain to get up to a reasonable level. The uh, Chebyshev Wave Shaper just applies the Chebyshev function or some variant of it onto your wave so that you just get incredible harmonics. And uh, like I said, I can take the harmonic shift and just drag it through and it gives me some really unique morphing wave sound. Okay, so for you glitch folks out here, we have quantization and posturization. So if I quantize the wave, it will basically skip some number of samples and then resample from that sample point, as you can see. So it's sampling here and here, and then as I move forward, it's going to increase that size. Um, posturization is in the vertical direction, so it actually quantizes the amplitude. And so as I drag it across, it basically reduces the bit rate. So this would be a bit crushing effect. Quantization is a resampling effect. And then finally we get to our filters, which kind of remove some of the stuff that we've created with uh, adding harmonics before in the signal chain. Uh, the slew limiter will basically limit the slope of the waveform. And I can basically go back to the, uh, the preset and just add one of these chirps. And then you'll see that it applies an artificial filtering effect as I increase the slew limiter. It's a little bit different from a real low pass filter, which I've added down here. This does an actual harmonic low pass. 
this. So you will see the harmonic view decreased amplitude. And of course I have a high pass filter, so as I increase that, the lows will drop out, and then I get nothing at the end. So you can combine these filters for interesting effects, but really you just get a band, uh, a band pass filter, and then kind of a wave shaper once uh, both of these are on. Okay, that's basically it for each individual effect. What I haven't really demonstrated though is that you can combine both editing the waveform and the effects at the same time. So if I take a, a random waveform and then apply some random effects to it, Oh, I forgot to mention normalize. Normalize is a really quick way to just apply a, uh, a post gain that's adaptive. And basically it takes your input signal and then makes sure that the bottom and the top of the waveform hit the maximum and the minimum values. So if I normalize this, then I'll get a waveform that hits that bottom point. And that's useful for something like the comb filter. It will essentially preserve the volume throughout the entire effect uh, parameter space. So let's start messing with this. Just adding harmonics here. Maybe add some more with the quantization and the posturization. And then filtering again with our slew here. So when I re-edit, the waveform editor reapplies the effects in real time. So you can hear what it sounds like, and then I can also edit the harmonic editor. Okay, so the frequency range actually goes down to about one hertz. Um, you might think this is kind of useless for just previewing a waveform, but it's really nice when you remove all the lower harmonics so that all you hear is the higher stuff and remove some of these effects. So again, this will be available in mid-August, around the 15th, and uh, thanks for watching. This is part one out of three, so expect to see two more of these in the next couple of months, so I'll keep you updated.